welcome to the garden. Today we've got a massive succulent update, including a tour of the entire succulent garden. This year we have more plants than ever, including a few new additions. This is a Christmas cactus, and it actually flowered last year around December. Looks like it's going to flower again. There are these tiny little pink buds, which I think are going to bloom. Another new addition that's flowering is a Kalanchoe. Now you may be familiar with our mini Kalanchoes, but this is an actual Kalanchoe without the mini. And we can see it has very similar flowers. Sometimes our mini Kalanchoe flowers look exactly like this with dozens of petals, almost like a rose. Other times they only have four petals, like this. And this is actually another new addition. Even though it's still a mini Kalanchoe, our previous mini Kalanchoe had bright red flowers, and these ones are a gorgeous hot pink. So that's really it for the new additions, but we do have a ton of new plants in the form of stem cuttings. I've even started to take leaf cuttings. They start by just sending out some new roots, and eventually they should grow a brand new plant. But the plants are so small, it's almost like growing them from seed. So I really do prefer stem cuttings when it comes to propagation, but we'll be doing a whole bunch of that later on. Our 60 new succulents are down to around 40 something. A few of them have just died back, and that was to be expected. The ones that are remaining are doing exceptionally well. Look at the size of some of these. It's just incredible. They all started off in these tiny pots and looked just about like this little stem cutting here. These little guys haven't really grown that much, but they are starting to send out new pups. This one has one, two, at least three brand new plants sprouting. And you can see this little guy. This was the flower stalk. Look at how tall it is. It's so weird, it's like a foot tall. Even though the plant is absolutely tiny. Another plant that recently flowered was this guy right here. And I think it's a topsy-turvy. If you look at the leaves, they kind of do look like they're growing upside down. And I've just got this paired with a couple other really pale green succulents. This one in the front looks a little bit thirsty, so I think we're actually going to separate these. They've grown up so well that this little blue pot really can't hold three of them anymore. But we'll get to that next time. Next up is our Hobbit Jade in this beautiful little tiny pot. And you can see on the left here we have a new sprout. That's really exciting. I absolutely love the tiny little cleft under the leaves on these. Our next arrangement is in this orange container, and we did lose one down low. It was kind of like these ones back here where it's a lower growing one. So I think it was shaded out and it might have not gotten enough water. And I tried to pick plants that had that orange color to complement the pot. And this one has a beautiful bronze color right now. Just below those, we have our snake plants. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this has put on quite a bit of growth since we've transplanted it. And even though this pot doesn't have any drainage, it seems to be doing really well. Behind that little guy, we have my favorite snake plant. And behind that, we have the original snake plant pot. This one is just jam-packed full of plants. And then another variety of snake plant, I think this is called black gold. And that's one that I keep right next to my bed. Behind those, we have our common jade. 
I absolutely love how easy these are to grow. I only water them maybe once every two weeks or once a month even, and they just love it. These plants here were all grown from stem cuttings, and this little pot is gonna be a gift for my brother. And this one over here is one rooting in water. And this is long overdue to be planted out in soil. And next to our common jade, we have all of our stacking jade, or Crisula perforata. And these are still one of my all-time favorite succulents. I just love how vertically they grow. They're very tightly packed. They're low maintenance and incredibly easy to propagate. Just in front of our stacking jade, we have our mini Kalanchoe, and that's the one with the red flowers. The original plant I left outdoors, so that one's gone, and these are some stem cuttings that we took off of the main plant. These have wonderfully shiny leaves and are just gorgeous. And it looks like these are tiny little buds, so they should flower soon. These ones tend to flower around Valentine's Day. And here at the far back, we have our aloe vera. These things have put on a lot of growth over the years. Our tiger jaw keeps putting out new growth, which is great. This one that looks like a sea turtle is doing really well. The one underneath is just packed. Can you see all those little pups? They're just spreading out everywhere. I'm really excited to up-pot that one. This is one of those aloe looking plants. It's like a harothia or something. I absolutely love this one. And this has done really, really well. It's put on so much new growth. This next container has three or four different plants. This one's huge. Doesn't have a lot of growth down low, so I think we might take this as a stem cutting next time. This one is very slightly fuzzy, which is fun. And then this one has little hairs. Can you see that? That's so weird. Here's a nice normal looking succulent. This one is incredibly hardy. I really like succulents that take care of themselves. Then we have these two little fuzzy guys, and we had another one here which we lost. So that's a bit of a bummer. And this really fuzzy guy right over here. This one is so cool. The leaves are incredibly thick. Look at this one. It looks like it's about to burst. And they're very fuzzy, kind of velvety soft. And one of these plants, is just massive. Look at how much taller it is than all the other succulents. It's incredible. It has a really wild look with a crazy thick stem and really long like pencil-like leaves. And last up in our green containers is the burrow tail. And half of these plants are new stem cuttings. The other half are the old base and they've forked. You can see this one has two new points of growth where there was just one. And eventually they'll cascade all over the place and they drop leaves really frequently. And here we have a few of those leaves that are already setting out new growth. So these are really easy to grow from leaf cuttings. And not everything goes as planned in the succulent garden. So let's take a look at a few experiments and a few plants that are in quarantine. We'll start off with what was our floating succulent cutting. So this was growing in water for over two years, but that was a really fun experiment. So we're gonna call this one quits, and we'll move on to some new experiments. These are our stacking jade, and you might notice something a little silly about these. They're deliberately planted upside down, and this was recommended by a viewer. I accidentally did this once, and as you can see, they grow roots along the top of the plant, which is actually the bottom because the crown is under the soil. But I've heard that this is a great way to promote them to flower. So we're gonna keep this going and see if we can do that. 
And these are part of our 60 new succulents. And each one of these plants has a little bit of an issue. This one I have just temporarily planted out here, so we'll find a permanent home for that next time. A few of these at the back have these weird scabs on the leaves. Here we have more scabs, not really sure why. And all of these had those mealy bugs. So I've kind of quarantined them off. Some of them are doing really well. Look at that new growth. It's just amazing. And look at how thick these leaves grow in. It's like armor. It looks incredible. This one looks really good at the top, but look, all of this is just dead leaves all along the stem. So we can treat these with that alcohol mixture. If you want to know more about mealybugs, you can watch this video right up here. Other than the pests, a lot of these just need to be pruned and cut back and propagated. So we'll be doing a lot of that next time. This one has some of the most amazing color. It has like purple leaves lined with red. It's struggling a little bit, so I'm a little worried we're going to lose this one, but I'm really hoping it recovers. So that wraps up our 2020 succulent garden tour. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely stay tuned for all the propagation updates to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.